Hi all, this is Kanu Bhutani here and uh, today in this session we will see how the automation scripts are created in IBM Maximo and how they are used. I've kept this session very simple uh, because to know uh, how these automation scripts, what these are and how these are created so that later once you come to know the basics of this you will be able to create your own scripts uh, going forward so let's move so the agenda for the day will be that we will see the types of scripts the script language how to create a script and its variables the objects and common scripting actions then the logging error handling saving and deploying the scripts and security considerations moving ahead so we see the type of scripts now in the scripts there are launch points like the launch points are the triggers that actually help you to uh, trigger an action uh, based on what script you are creating so you need to create the scripts based on what launch point you want what you want to launch in an object for example the object launch point this is the first type of script that you'll be creating this is triggered when the action occurs on an object such as creation updation or deletion so if you create an object or uh, update or delete it then the script that you will be using is object launch point second is attribute launch point now when you try to modify a specific attribute in an object say you created an object but you have to only change the uh, uh, specific attribute say its uh, uh, size or its color then you have to launch the attribute launch point okay the third one is action launch point this is when the action any specific action is invoked on an object so the actions can be uh, say the click action or the uh, uh, scroll action so that time you have to create the scripts the fourth one is object structure launch point this is triggered when an object structure action is performed so the object structure action uh, whatever structure is there that uh, the, the those actions when which these are performed this type of script is written so we will see in going further uh, how these are created the script language for this in Maximo automation scripts is uh, used J Jython which is a Python implementation for Java and the JavaScript so these two are the scripts that we use when uh, writing the Maximo automation scripts creating a script in Maximo you have to go to automation scripts application then you have to create a new script with the appropriate launch point type that we discussed earlier and then you can specify the conditions for the script to run based on the expressions so you it is up to you to decide uh, what uh, conditions you have to input in those uh, scripts so maybe the scripts the automation scripts mostly should be like for uh, uh, the maintenance or the predictive maintenance the uh, scripts you can create that can automatically go into an asset and check that okay uh, this particular asset uh, it's uh, 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 it's an alarming situation it gives 
so you can create a script saying that this is an alarming script so please automatically you update the uh, workflow uh, um, department workflow management people to take action on this so this will automatically take that uh, uh, the things which are in red uh, uh, pointing uh, to be taken action will be taken then comes script variables you can define and use following variables within scripts to store and manipulate data during execution the variables can hold the field values the constants and the results of calculations then we'll see maximo scripting objects the maximo provides many different objects of scripting that allows you to interact with the data and uh, also perform various actions and operations so some of the common objects are mbo main business object then it is mbo set it is a set of business objects then comes mbo set remote mbo value etc so these are the scripting objects which you can use and uh, interact with it for getting the data so business object is the main object that uh, contains the uh, like the functionality which is related to the data that is a business object a business uh, it is a uh, form of a, um, one or more um, business uh, functionalities which can be included and a main business object can be formed and the MBO set is like a set of business objects which uh, uh, contain the uh, similar kind of uh, uh, the functionalities or a set of functionalities to perform one module so a one module can be there in this uh, and remote is used to uh, to for mobile and uh, the values are used for uh, getting the scripting values of the scripting objects to perform the operations then comes common script actions what we uh, see are set value when you have to set a value in a field you have to use set value then get value when you have to retrieve a value from the field of the main business object the third one is add warning you can add a warning message to be displayed to the user you can add an error message and you can get mbo set also that retrieves the uh, set of MBOs based on the condition as I told you the uh, it can be the set of functionalities or the modules that you create so based on the condition that you apply you get the set of MBOs and get MBO similarly based on whatever MBO object you want uh, and uh, it retrieves the and that MBO object that is currently being processed then there is logging also wherein you can use the service.log method to write the log messages that can help you debugging then comes error handling which is proper error handling is essential to ensure the features are gracefully handled and uh, users are informed accordingly about the issues that are raised uh, in the uh, uh, objects in MBOs then comes saving and deploying scripts so after you create or modify a script it needs to be saved and deployed to take an effect that is you have to deploy it in a production environment and then the security considerations are that uh, automation scripts have powerful capabilities so it is important to ensure that it is very secure 
and uh, you have to limit the access to script creations and executions to only authorized persons only so we will see later how uh, in detail how we can do the saving and deploying of the scripts uh, to take effect but here we just uh, know that okay after you create a script you have to deploy it so uh, it was a very uh, small but a very important uh, uh, topic of automation of the scripts that uh, Maximo gives us to uh, help us to uh, work more efficiently in uh, its tool. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.